Thing to Taylor here with Dainty Acres Italian Greyhounds. Here at Dainty Acres, we have morning and afternoon naps in elevated crates in the living room. I learned this hack quite by mistake one day when I was cleaning up the living room and noticed one of my difficult craters smiling at me from the crate I tossed up on a table. I definitely learn more from them than they ever learned from me. So since that day, I have made some improvements for safety like including a padded ladder back chair to step up on and off of, uh, and a rubber backed mat for landing on the floor. Italian Greyhounds are notorious for broken bones. Broken legs and tails seem to be the number one ER visit for IGs. This is because they are able to launch, and if you add their nervous speed, there's going to be a bad landing eventually. I could bubble wrap them, but knowing my dogs, they would chew that and end up choking. Italian Greyhounds love to please their people. They are hungry for respect, admiration, and trust with their humans. So I choose to use that hunger to train my dogs to do fun things the safe way. For example, I teach them how to properly load and unload the crate using the R-A-T technique. What is the RAT technique? I'm glad you asked. It's an acronym for respect, admiration, and trust. Crate loading is something my dogs and I can do together to build respect, R, A, admiration, and T, trust. Dogs that are running around crazy and jumping off the furniture are not being respectful, nor can they be trusted. It is just a matter of time before you scramble to find an ER vet and money to pay for it. We use the grooming stands and my ladder back chairs to guide them to use the chair seat as a step up to the crate. They have been trained to load and unload safely into these elevated crates. I have a padded chair for the first jump, then a rubber backed rug for the floor landing. Teaching the dogs a verbal and a hand sign is helpful for other loading and unloading situations. I use the same command for loading into a crate as I do for passing through an open door. To a dog, they're both just the same. They're just a transition. When we travel, space is tight, and I have to stack crates. In the car, my dogs travel in crates, so they need to know how to travel in elevated crates. I train my dogs to load and unload their crates correctly. The crates for the vehicle require their cooperation. I need them to stand still and let me pick them up. We have a technique that works for us. It's the same verbal and hand sign I use for the show ring. I pinch my fingers together and cut my left hand so they walk into that and they get a treat for doing so. Signs. So I have verbal and hand signs for uh, a safe load into the car, onto the furniture, up to the grooming table, into the show ring, on the bed, passing through a door, moving to a pen, and even the crate. I use the same verbal and hand signs for all these because they are all the same thing to a dog. They are all just a transition from one place to another. So in their minds, I'm asking them to transition from here to there by saying, load up. The dog hears the verbal sign, looks at my hand for the hand sign, and he's even looking at where my eyes are focused to know exactly what to do and where to go. He has time to calculate his launch this way, his passage through a door this way, or his landing. It's safer. The verbal and the hand sign for loading into a crate is the same as going through a door. It just keeps it easy for me. Going through a door or jumping into a crate is the same to a dog. They are going from one place to another. They are transitioning. Dogs so want to earn your rat because that is the way they are wired. That is also how you are wired. The hand sign I use is the motion of my hand and the palm of my hand facing the direction I want them to go. High hand or low hand, depending on how high or how low they're supposed to be going. For more information about the verbal and the hand signs, check us out on Facebook. I've got uh, posts on Facebook or you can find us on the website where I've got some uh, YouTube videos. You can even go straight to our YouTube channel. I give a treat when they are working on verbal and hand signs. I keep it fun with different things to see and touch. I make it rewarding by giving them what they want. My dogs all love bait. My Italian greyhounds are not driven by bouncy balls or flying fishing rods. Mine are driven by food, so I can use anything that smells and is tasty. I like the HEB brand of mini burgers for dogs, but tasty dog food would work too. 
Well, I hope you found this useful. Join us again uh, in the Dainty Acres Training Studio on our YouTube channel. Please do subscribe.